Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. Greetings. Greetings, viewers and subscribers. In this video, we are going to be giving you some Portmore news. You would have seen the videos. I'm going to be telling you exactly what took place yesterday in Portmore. Read the shooting and robbery. Stand by for that. Now, later on today, I'm going to be giving you the Western Jamaica News Roundup. There are some interesting stories coming up in that video. You're not going to want to miss it. So, when we start today's journey, we are still on our way to Orange Bay in the parish of Hanover. We are heading to the Orange Bay Country Club. So, when we start today's journey, sit back, relax and enjoy this journey with me. Now, first up, we are learning that a guy, he has been arrested and charged for breaking into entertainer Kiprich House. Kiprich, his correct name is Marlon Plunkett. He is 45 years old. He is an entertainer and he is living in the parish of St. Catherine. We are learning that on Saturday, March 11, eight days after Kiprich's birthday, a guy, his name is Kemar Jones. He is 21 years old and he is living at 11 miles, Bull Bay in the parish of St. Thomas. About some minutes after 10 o'clock in the morning, Kemar, he went to Kiprich home at the Portmore Country Club where he forced himself through a window and entered the house. We are told that he stole a gold two-tone watch valued at 25,000 United States dollars. One gold chain valued at 12,000 United States dollars. One Burberry glass valued at 450 United States dollars. He also stole cash amounting to 15,000 United States dollars and 500 Canadian dollars. Kemar, he then made good his escape through the front door of the house. We are told that Kiprich, he received intelligence as to who the hoodlum is who broke into his house. On Thursday, March 16, 2023, Kiprich, he spotted Kemar downtown Kingston. The police, they were informed and Kemar was picked up by the police. Following police investigations, we are told that all the items that were stolen from Kiprich House were recovered by the police. We are told that over the weekend, Kemar Jones, he gave the police a caution statement in the presence of his lawyer. He was subsequently charged for the offense of house breaking and larceny and he'll be going to the courts shortly to face a judge now still in portmore we are learning that the portmore police they are searching for a 27 year old female named chanel lee she's living at nagoset in the portmore area we are learning that in november 2022 chanel she was employed as the manager for the grand bar located at newland road in nagoset portmore it is alleged that as a part of her duties, Chanel, she oversee a safe in the establishment that she had access to. In January, some checks and balance were done and almost 400,000 Jamaican dollars could not be accounted for. As a result, a report was made to the police and an investigation launched. Chanel, she is now wanted by the police for the offense of larceny as a servant. Chanel, go give up yourself. You are wanted. Still in Portmore, have you seen this video? It was about an incident that took place Saturday night, March 18, about 9.30. It took place at a bar at Westchester in Portmore. Now, what we are learning is that three hoodlums, they entered the bar posing as customers. The hoodlums, they then ordered cigarettes. The bartender became suspicious and told the hoodlums that she was closing up for the day. One of the hoodlums, he brandished a gun and they all proceeded to rob the place. They robbed cigarettes, liquors and other valuables. They also forcefully opened four poker boxes and stole the cash that were inside. They then made good their escape on foot in the area. <laughs> now, I want you to watch the video to the very end and look and see what one of the hoodlums did before they were leaving the store. Watch this.
the other box money. See my big up everybody. When they come out. Why? May I tell you? <laughs> may I tell you? The mayhem. The me so let me ask you something. <laughs> let me ask you something. Have you hit on the love button as yet? If you have not yet done so, remember to do it. Also, if you are over here watching our videos and you have not yet subscribed, hit on the subscribe button. As also, hit on the notification bell. Then click all so that whenever we drop a new video, you will be the first to be notified. In the final story for today, you have seen the videos. But have you heard exactly what went down? You haven't? Well, I'm going to be telling you exactly what happened. Now, video footage of this incident are all around. So, I don't have to post the footages here. What we are learning is that yesterday afternoon, Sunday, March 19, about 12.30, as part of their duties, four security officers employed to guardsmen. Remember now, guardsmen, they are the owners of Beryllium Limited. It used to be called Guardsman Armored before the name change. So, four security officers employed to Guardsman. They were in the armored vehicle. The age of the security officers are 24, 37, 46, and 50. They drove onto the Scotiabank premises at Brayton Parkway, Cooks and Pen in Portmore. Their aim was to service the ATMs. Three of the security officers alighted from the beryllium van and got to work. One of the security officers, he took up the covering position. Another one went to open the door. And the third one, he came out with a bag containing over 23 million Jamaican dollars. Whilst the fourth security officer, the driver, he remained seated in the vehicle. Hoodlums pounced. And these hoodlums... They opened a barrage of gunshots at the four security officers. The security officers, they managed to take cover and they were able to return the gunfire. A man who was standing nearby, when he realized what was happening, he also challenged the hoodlums. One of the hoodlums was able to grab the bag with the cash that fell from the security officers and they jumped into two motor cars, a silver Subaru and a white Toyota Axio and made good their escape. Now, three of the security officers and the man that challenged the hoodlums, they were shot. One of the security officers, he received gunshot wounds to his right foot. Another one received gunshot wounds to his hands, his buttocks, and both feet. The third security officer who was shot, he received gunshot wounds to his right foot. The fourth security officer, he was injured, but he was not shot. It is suspected that when he was diving for cover, he got injured. He received injuries to both knees, his hands and his back. The other man who challenged the hoodlums, he received gunshot wounds to his buttocks. The beryllium vehicle has also a black Honda HRV and a burgundy Subaru motor car. They were all extensively damaged by bullets. Now, if you look on your screen, those are the two motor cars that the hoodlums traveled in. They were found abandoned in the illegal sand mining area in the Lake Spen community. We are told that an extra pair of license plate was found in the Toyota Axio motor car. You want to hear something else? You want to hear something else? Listen to this. We are told that when the police processed this crime scene, a total of 80, 80, 5.56 pen shells and 98 9mm pen shells were recovered from the scene. So it's safe to say at least 200 bullets were fired because I am sure that the police did not recover all the pen shells. Remember now, 5.56 is what is used in an M16 rifle. 80. 5.56 pen shells were recovered. Now, <laughs> I have seen some persons elsewhere saying that it was security guard who set this up. But I'm not going to be joining that chorus because I have no evidence. 
what I know is it's not hard to study these security officers loading the ATM machines. It's not hard at all. I am told that this particular machine is normally serviced on a Sunday unless it runs out of cash during the week. So it's not hard to study them at all. I'm not sure how they are going to do it. But the security companies, they will have to come up with some kind of strategy as to how to do things going forward. This way of doing business is not working out at all. And you know what the sad thing is? You know what the sad thing is? Out of the 23 million that these hoodlums got, at least 5 million will be going towards buying more illegal guns and ammunition. Sad indeed. Happily, happily, by all accounts, the four security officers and the man who were injured, they are going to survive. Let's hope that the police, they make an early breakthrough in this one. The mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend, for tell a friend, for tell a friend about Popeye News Link and PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe, and share. Quick silver sing. If we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. If we just unite, what a country this will be. Shame, what a shame, but me want me country back, give me me country back Crying it a 